Today I'm gonna to show you how to change your dryer from a four prong dryer cord to a three prong dryer cord. First step is, is to take off the cord cover. Next step is, is we're gonna remove this strain relief. Just take the screws completely out and then take the two pieces out. Next, we're gonna unscrew all the terminal screws. Now be careful when you're removing these, you don't wanna drop these into the dryer. And then take this ground screw out. And then just go ahead and pull the four prong dryer cord out of the dryer. Now what you're left with are three terminals and this loose green wire. You wanna look for the spot on your dryer where it has a ground symbol, and you wanna put this green wire onto the body of your dryer. Just make sure that's nice and snug. Next, you're gonna take your three prong dryer cord. You're gonna fish it through the access hole and then line them up with your terminals. Now, it's really important. The only important thing is that the middle wire always goes on the middle terminal. The left and the right could go either on the left or the right. If you have the cord flipped, this is still correct as long as the middle wire goes on the middle terminal. So let's push your wires through, line them up on the terminal, take your screwdriver. What I like to do is get it started, but don't tighten it up too much because you might need to wiggle the cord around a little bit to get it to line up properly. Once you're done, just snug everything up. Next, take the strain relief. Now the bottom is always the one with the smaller holes. Just kind of squeeze them together a little bit. Get your screws started. Don't tighten it all the way. Take your other screw, and now you could go ahead and snug everything up. These connections are loose. They could get hot and ultimately melt and cause a burn, and it'll make your dryer not work. Last, you want to take your cord cover, put it on, and there you have it. If you need the cord, you could buy it on my website, lorainefurniture.com. Just search dryer cord and it'll give you all the options that we have. You can also get the screwdriver here. It's pretty handy. It's a six in one, so it does quite a bit of uh, work. And it's basically the only tool that you need to do any type of really dryer repair for the most part.